Good morning YouTube, welcome to Dude RV. Today I find myself at Lake Somerville State Park Merch Creek Unit. Good morning YouTube, welcome to Dude RV. Sure appreciate you stopping by. Hey, if this is your first visit, please consider clicking on the subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. I load new videos every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time. Been wandering around the state of Texas, visiting all of the Texas state parks, and today I find myself at Lake Somerville State Park, Birch Creek Unit. I got Little Red, the high-speed mobility scooter. I got the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod, but best of all, I have you. So let's get on Little Red and go check out this beautiful Texas State Park. Piece of cake. All right, let's ride. Cue that music. The so Lake Summerfield was constructed in the late 60s, 1967, I believe. It's not a real old Texas State Park. But when you roll in, you notice there was nobody at the gate. You have to cross the road here and come over to the park headquarters to get checked in. That means you gotta get out and, and do a little walking, but it is handicap friendly. You know, once you're checked in, there's two different directions for, there's campgrounds in two different directions. That's what I'm trying to say. We're gonna go to the left first. Breaking the law, breaking the law. They can't catch me now. Now this is the trailhead. I have not yet explored that, but it does appear to be an ADA accessible trail, which is of great interest. Now the first thing we're going to explore is the equestrian area and tent sites. This is all primitive camping back in here. And one of the things that makes Lake Somerville State Park unique is that it is the trail. It's a very extensive trail network that you can ride your horse on. So you can, and you can actually uh, hike into a lot of those trails or a lot of the campsites. It's about, I think, two miles in. I, I'm a kind of concerned about taking a little red on those trails because once you get out there, if little red was to fail on me, I, I'd have to hide back. And I don't know that I'm up to that. It's a very, for the most part, a very flat park. Lots, as you can see, lots of brush and trees, lots of tree cover. Uh, the old hickory area, this part of this side of the park, what am I trying to say? If I were to return, I personally would want to book a site on this end of the park. I think it's just prettier here. But you get to be the judge. So we're gonna come back to all these camping loops. We'll go down here and turn around and come back.
morning. Supposed to have cloud cover all day. Which is not real great for video production, but I don't have any control over the weather. I just realized we're going the wrong way, so I'm gonna turn around and go back for you. That way y'all can get a look at the sights. Here we go. It is Monday, so there's there's not a whole lot of campers in the park. Which is the way I like it for these videos. The way I, I, I don't have to worry about somebody running into me. There are some really nice sights on this loop. I think all of them on this loop are really good. The lake is over here. So at the end of the end of these loops, there's trails down to the lake. So if you get in these sites, there's a nice handicap site right there. Easy lake access. Two dump stations for the two different sides of the park. There are apparently deer in this park but I have yet to see any. I did have a bird building a nest in the pickup topper yesterday. I left one of the windows open. And I noticed these birds kept flying in. And when I investigated, I found they had a nest half built. That was kind of frustrating. Had to clear out the bird nest.
Now, if you were planning a rally or a family reunion, this is a nice place to do it. And you'll see why. Oh, there's a bunny. That was a big bunny, too. There are quite a few hiking trails throughout the park. Majority of them are not ADA friendly. Oh, look at there. They have three dump stations. So this is the group camp area. You see they're all pull, almost all pull throughs. And on the right here we have the dining hall. It is air conditioned. Beautiful morning. There are actually two Texas State Park campgrounds on Lake Somerville. So there will be two virtual tour videos. The Nail Creek unit will be in will be next week. There are also three Corps of Engineer campgrounds that I've, I've so far identified. Uh, I know that I'm going to shoot video of two of them. I'm not sure about the third. And I won't know. Whoop. There, I'm running my mouth. Not paying attention to, the, to where I am. So let's turn around and go back. I'll edit that out. <laughs> or not. Four dump stations. Of course, I haven't been down this loop. handicap fight right there. Another nice handicap site. Ooh, I like this one. Look at that, man. You got lake access right there. Site number 45. 44, 43.
like 59, 58, and 57. Ooh, we really like 57. Lot of campsites in this Birch Creek unit of Lake Somerville State Park. Family fishing pond. I didn't see that yesterday. Of course, I didn't come down here yesterday. That was the Post Oak camping area. I think our the next stop on our tour is going to be the day use area. is all private property. We'll be coming back to the Yopon camping area. Breaking the law again. Do not enter. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. I had a visit with a park ranger yesterday asking me questions about Little Red. of these group family, group pavilions, large family pavilions. There were quite a few people out here yesterday. I 
talked to one guy who was fishing. He, he came, he, he walked by the campsite pulling his wagon full of fishing gear. He said he didn't catch anything all day. Lots of turkey vultures. Lots of blue bonnets. Lots and lots of blue bonnets. Of course, they're all short, so I'm kind of thinking maybe the park staff mowed bef just before the, the bloom started. So this is the boat ramp. It's a two-laner. And then there's a fishing jetty. At one time it looks like there used to be a fishing pier, but that's no longer functional. That's the day use area. Birch Creek Unit, Lake Somerville State Park. One more place to visit. Actually, there's two more places to visit. Two more camping loops. Tell you what, this is a really rough road. I know y'all don't get it because of the stabilization in the camera. It is very, very bumpy. I don't know, maybe you can hear the the deck vibrating. I'll find out in editing. quiet last night I did not hear any road noise Get to go fast. Guess I better slow down because we're looking at campsites again. There are a couple of nice lakeside campsites on this little loop.
little bit of a tricky corner to navigate there. They don't sell firewood in this park, just so you know. Make sure you load up on firewood before you come out here. over here that you need to see before we turn around and head back to camp. Actually, four sites. are always so much fun hey i sure appreciate you coming along if you're still with me at this point thank you that that's just that's so fun to do more fun for me i'm sure than it is for you but i try to make it interesting for you if this is your first visit please consider clicking on the subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along thank you that's why I do what I do. That's, that's why I get to come to all these cool places, because of you. And for my patrons especially, thank you. I am deeply grateful. Y'all come back now, you hear?